Uh, there is no doubt that healthcare associated infections are now well at the top of the list of priorities in the health service. And that's something we haven't seen, certainly in my lifetime in uh, medicine and microbiology, which I hate to admit now goes back uh, some 38 years or so. Um, at last, people are taking notice that infection matters, and that's why we're here. We're here because of the challenge of healthcare-associated infections. There is no doubt that this is a serious problem within the NHS, throughout, in all, in all trusts, in all hospitals. And the figures of the two um, key infections that we monitor uh, on a mandatory basis so that we have uh, data from across the whole of the NHS, the MRSA bacteremias, where we've had surveillance since 2001 2 on a mandatory basis, Again, showing there the figures that were rising steadily until 2003-04, uh, the, the peak there, which is when the target was introduced, um, the, uh, the, the political awakening, should I say, at that, that point, the target was introduced. And you can see there, we've had reductions since then. And the, the three quarters in last year, the, the data that were published last week, show that uh, in the third the second quarter, third quarter of 2006, taking us up to December, we're down to around just over 1,500 cases per year. Still not low enough. We must keep the, the pressure on. At least it is going in the right direction. Can't say the same yet for Clostridium difficile. The figures up there, the, these are the voluntary reporting from uh, England, Wales, and Northern Ireland showing this re, um, doubling of cases, more than doubling between 2001 and 2005. And when mandatory reporting was introduced, just in England and just in the over 65s, which means that this, is, this represents 75% of the cases of Clostridium difficile infection, the figures last year showing that there were over 55,000 cases reported in England in that period. That is unacceptable by any stretch of the imagination. Who's responsible for dealing with healthcare associated infections? A lot of us have responsibility. Clearly, clinicians have, a, have a, a major responsibility here. Clinicians are responsible for safe patient care, and infection is very much part of patient safety. They're responsible for the diagnosis, treatment, prevention, and control of infection. Basically, from a clinical standpoint, all clinicians are responsible for trying to prevent the risk or reduce the risk of infection in their patients. At an organisational level with interest, the DIPC, the Director of Infection Prevention and Control, the Chief Executive, the Board, the corporate aspect. Yes, there is a corporate uh, responsibility for ensuring the proper environment, not just the physical environment, environment but the cultural environment within an organisation to make it happen. So there's a managerial responsibility to make that happen. And there's a responsibility on government and the Department of Health, which I suppose is where I come in these days, the responsibility for setting standards, for ensuring that it's a priority within the health service, for ensuring there are systems in place to monitor the outcome and to do assessments, and to back this by legislation, which we did last year with the, and with the Code of Practice, and to have a system of performance management in place, again, through the management system of the NHS to make this work. <coughs> 